Creative Director for Star Wars Outlaws Pledges, Significant Overhaul After Sales Struggles Ubisoft outlined plans for a big Star Wars Outlaws patch that fixes some of the open-world game's biggest weak points, and it's all free. Combat, stealth, and how you go about approaching each are all up for improvement in Title Update 1.4, which Ubisoft said in the announcement blog will go live for all platforms on November 21, 2024. Ubisoft has released its first developer update for Star Wars Outlaws, with new creative director Drew Reckner promising big changes after the open-world adventure debuted to disappointing sales. We see a real opportunity to add more depth and excitement to the experience, further rewarding your tactics and precision, the team said. Tactics isn't really something that applies to Outlaws since you can get by with speed and brute force most of the time. Different blaster modules change how you approach encounters, but the prospect of having to weigh options and figure out the best way to deal with your foes is an appealing one. Reckner said in the update that Ubisoft had been gathering and actioning players' feedback since launch and has identified key areas where it can elevate the game experience to better meet player expectations. Sentiments such as these are often seen in the wake of disastrous game launches, but Star Wars Outlaws debuted to positive reviews. Poor sales shook a struggling Ubisoft, however, and it is now working to improve the game ahead of what it hopes will be a sales bump alongside its Steam launch and the holiday period. This will result in Star Wars Outlaws getting revamped combat, stealth, and controls. The first key area of improvement to the game is combat, where we see a real opportunity to add more depth and excitement to the experience, further rewarding your tactics and precision, Reckner said. Our second key area is stealth which is not only about improving the readability and consistency of enemy detection, but also providing choice in how you want to approach each encounter. Finally, our third key area of focus is centered around the character controls, which means improving the reliability of cover, increasing the responsiveness of climbing and crouching, and generally improving the consistency of the controls overall.